Hi, my name is Eric Fox Jackson, and this is a tutorial on sunbursts and circular patterns. I've seen a lot of people online talking about creating um, sunburst patterns or sunburst shapes similar to the Imperial Japanese Rising Sun flag from World War II. Um, and I also see tutorials online suggesting that you simply make a circle, uh, give that circle a stroke, so I'll give it a black stroke, and making that stroke a dashed line, and simply just making the dashed line a high point size, and the way it defaults is making that thinner, so it fits the size. So if I make this 150 now, it's starting to look a lot more like a sunburst. And you can edit it variably, you can change the point size here, but I think it doesn't have as much control as the method that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the dashed line from this and make this a reasonable stroke just so I could manage working with it. I like to use a stroke just because now I can see the confines of the circle as well. I can um, see through the circle if I put that circle on top of any other objects. And I'm going to take this circle with my linked uh, sizes here, and I'm just going to set it to 500, just a comfortable number to work with. And inside of this circle, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to go to the Polygon tool, and I'm going to click, and it's set to three sides. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to set it to the width I like. Putting in the circle might help for me. Oh, and I flew away. And I can put this inside the circle here and alter the size there. But I do want the height of it to be half of 500. So I'm going to make the height 250 in the uh, transform settings up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to align this to my circle. So I'm going to center align it and then align it to the top. And if those don't show up for you up here, you can also go to Window and Align, and use the Align palette. I have a widescreen monitor, so. I'm going to set this to red, so it's similar to the Rising Sun flag. And I'm going to set this to a fill. I'm working in CMYK. I should really be working in RGB, seeing as this is a online tutorial. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Rotate tool, and that's over here. I'm going to double click on that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you if I wanted this to, if I know I want 12 partitions in here, or 16 partitions in here, what I can do is I don't have to do the math in my head. Illustrator can do the math for you. So I know that there's 360 degrees in a circle, and then I could hit the slash here, and I can just put in 16. And if I press tab, it's going to just, it's going to actually move it to whatever angle is, <laughs> it's going to do the math for you, basically. So what you can do is you can copy that, and now you can sort of see what's going on here. You have this duplicated shape, and what you can do is you can go to transform, and do transform again, or just do control or command if you're on uh, an Apple um, D and just keep repeating it until you have your sunburst shape. And you can just delete your bounding box there and now you have the sunburst shape. Now you can also use this technique to get some um, interesting circular patterns. I use them to make mandalas. I'm just going to take a uh, black stroke circle here again, and inside of it, I'm also going to place black stroke circle. So I'm just going to duplicate that, and I'm going to change the size of it. What I'm going to do is I'll actually take the size of this. This is 504. I'll just make it an even 500 again. Here we go. And I'm going to go here and do 500. I'm, once again, I'm going to just put the math in the in the box here. So I'm going to do 500 divided by 4, because I know I want four of these to fit in here. So what I'm going to do is, once again, I'm going to align it to the center and align it to the top. 
And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just duplicate four times over this circle. Now I can just align this circle as well to the bottom, and I'm going to click on this afterwards just so it knows that it's aligning to this object and not this object. And I'm going to align to the bottom. And now what I can do is, since this is aligned to the top and this is aligned to the bottom, I can select these four circles without the large circle on the outside, go to my Align Palette, which is over here, and I can do Distribute Spacing. And if it automatically distributes the spacing between all of those, and they're all one-fourth the size, it should automatically fit in there. So what I'm going to do now to create the actual pattern, and this is to create a sort of kaleidoscope effect, you can do the, um, the transform and repeat again. So I'm going to do it a little smaller. I'm just going to divide this by 2, make it so it does uh, 32 um, of these repetitions. I'm going to do copy again. And you can already see what's going on here. So I'm going to do transform again until it gets all the way around there. And there you have a pattern. And if you wanted to, you could, uh, you could select this. You can remove this outside circle here. can't remove the outside circle. There we go. You can remove your outside circle here, and you can select this, and you can go to the Pathfinder tool, and go to Divide, and you can begin to color all these separate segments now. All of these will be separate selections that you can color, and eventually you can select all of these and go around, color them all, you can make them all individual colors if you like. As well, you can go back and you can always, before you divide it, you could always just use the Live Paint Bucket tool. And you click on there and you can get in there really quickly, just filling in colors. And that might be a little easier for some people. I find I have a little more control when I actually um, pathfind the shapes and expand them and really work with them. I can reshape them and resize things. But even from this, I can still expand this, and I can work with these shapes now. And that's all for my tutorial. Thank you very much.